uh, before. Oh, you've got record on now, so wherever you are, we're oh, I'm just going to say. Okay, and I'll just take some everybody. notes uh, and keep updating you, okay? Yes, yes, Good. awesome. Thanks, Great. guys. Hopefully, those of you who aren't with us live can um, watch this recording. Um, we had a few issues with it last time, but um, hopefully we'll have it nailed again tonight. Sometimes technical things happen. So we apologize for that. Oh, yay. I actually really love this session a lot. Oils for every age. Um, and it's one of the things that is incredibly unique about using essential oils is that um, you can use them across every age. So I'm going to start from pregnancy and bear with me. I know that this doesn't... Um, uh, impact everybody on this call, but there might be somebody in your world who is getting pregnant in the future, or um, you never know. You never know, right? So this is going to cross a few things. And again, like with all of these sessions, it really is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, and there's a number of things. So feel free to use the chat and the questions that I don't get answered um, live as we're going through. Please make sure that you hit me up at the end and say, I didn't understand and you missed this question in the chat. So feel free to use the chat as I'm talking. I can't see it because I've got my, my screen on. Um, so uh, Lorraine, if you want to interrupt me or anyone wants to unmute themselves and interrupt me for something as we're rolling through, then I'm so happy for that as well. So um, pregnancy. So Terrazyme, any of you who have done the Symphony of Cells training, who have done anything with Michalina Knight, you will know that Terrazyme is the number one thing that we recommend that you get on from a digestive point of view on top of your long life vitality. So yes, long life vitality is safe in pregnancy. I always get lots of questions around that. Um, essential oil use in pregnancy is Amazing. And I've got a funny light above my head again. So sorry about that. I had this problem on Monday too. Hey Jess, sorry, just because I couldn't possibly spell it. That hyper gas the, the where you have like the intense nausea. Yeah, hyperemesis. Yeah, I don't know why I could spell it. Like that. wanting to vomit the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Yep. When you get to it and oil for that. When you get yep. there. I just couldn't spell it, so I couldn't write it in the chat. Sorry. Ah, oh, awesome. Awesome. Yes, oils for that. I have, I've had a couple of people actually um, in my team who are just hospitalized their whole pregnancy, pretty much. One, one woman in particular, the most severe hyperemesis that I've ever seen, so much so that it's like restricted them from having more babies. She's got two kids, so she did just have to be hospitalized for her entire pregnancies, which is pretty full on. Um, and her major thing there, I'm going to answer now because otherwise I'll forget, was actually she was... Um, getting the peels of mandarin and sniffing them. She's like, it's the only thing that helps. And I was like, babe, can I get you an oil? <laughs> she was like, wild orange doesn't cut it. It has to be like mandarin. And I was like, okay. And back then we didn't have all the mandarin options that we do now. But generally I would say any citrus, which is interesting because most people think I'm going to go straight to digest then. Um, but any citrus oil and cardamom are the two that are going to be most helpful during um, pregnancy for just general nausea and also, yeah, hyperemesis. So there's a number of mandarins. We've got green mandarin, red ma mandarin, and yellow mandarin is available this month on the 200 PV promotion. We don't normally have that one. And um, I remind me if I forget, I'll explain a bit more about the mandarins at the end. So terazyme is digestive enzymes. So that actually passes through the breast milk, which is not so important in pregnancy because we're not breastfeeding yet. But um, digestive enzymes are super important for babies. So much so now a lot of people are putting um, babies on probiotics really early. Um, and it's one of those things that you do the um, you do the scoop if you don't have vaginal births. There's a lot of bacteria that gets put on the baby, the whole reason why God created it to come through the birth canal. And the bacteria that they pick up through there actually has a massive impact on their digestive system, which is why we see an increase in certain types of conditions for cesarean babies. So if you've had a Caesar and you weren't aware of any of that, no worries. Um, one of my babies is a Caesar as well. Um, but it's interesting that we can be aware of what happens from a birthing perspective and how we can implement that into baby straight away. So one of the ways to do that is to, for the mother to have the right levels of things and even more so in her body so she can pass that on through her breast milk. So mother's health is crucial for baby's health, which you will all agree with in pregnancy. Um, Capiva, so that is actually going to um, help with your 
breast milk supply, interestingly enough, um, and the other one is peppermint. So peppermint, um, the caution here is to use carefully some, some women note a decrease in milk supply which for me was actually amazing because I it did it did help me reduce my supply which was a big um, win because it helped me wean my babies which was a real big problem um, before I was using doTERRA with my eldest son who's just turned eight I didn't have oils for him but the other two I did um, Basil and fennel. So fennel actually increases um, your breast milk supply. A lot of women come around my house and get rollers of fennel to help with breast milk. But in health for the mama in pregnancy, um, I love cardamom for all of the digestive stuff, for reflux tends to set in later. Um, all of the mus muscular discomfort. Of course, you can use aroma touch. Um, ice blue as in when you need to the really the only thing to be aware of is the peppermint oil if you're breastfeeding to avoid that initially um, when your milk supply is coming in stay off stay away from it for like the first couple of weeks I would suggest until you get settled into your feeding routine and then introduce it later um, and start by using it topically rather than taking it internally if you are breastfeeding so that you can gauge that milk supply and the other Crucial one is clary sage. So you do not want to be taking that until late term. So clary calm is different. That's a blend. And we actually recommend taking clary calm because it's so supportive of your hormones throughout your pregnancy. And of course, hormones wreak havoc in pregnancy. So having something that's going to be supportive, but clary sage is one that will help um, induce labor. Now essential oils are super powerful but not so powerful that you're going to get your body to do something that it wouldn't already naturally do. Okay so if you're ready to go into labor it's really going to help that process and it also I've used oils too to um, keep my contractions rolling and for pain and so much for stress because how stressful is having a baby in labor and also just after so um in my room when i had my little leo i had oils diffusing there was literally oils on him within a couple of hours of birth um and so he's been oiled up right the way through and he's definitely by far my healthiest child so this goes into using oils in infants so dilution is key and i would not be mentioning any of this if we weren't talking about doTERRA essential oils so they are definitely the most tested and the most trusted oils on the market um, and we know that the company goes to incredible lengths to make sure that they are safe lavender um, frankincense are the two favorites that i absolutely use on babies early on um, you can use it for cradle cap, you can use it just for calming. Um, I don't use anything other than basically a coconut oil and lavender. Um, occasionally I've added in some tea tree, but pretty much lavender and frankincense for any sort of like baby pimples that come out, for nappy rash. Um, there's literally, and we have a whole set, actually my friend Courtney's done a beautiful um, birthing package and made up like uh, I think there's maybe like nine different spray bottles for like a peri spray down to, you know, like a nappy rash balm. So there's recipes for all of those things. So if you guys want that, um, feel free to message me personally and I can hook you up with all of that information as well. On guard touch. Um, so not for newborns, but um, definitely when they're getting a little bit older, like like my Leo, he is nearly two, and I use the On Guard Touch on the soles of his feet and up his spine. Um, we actually have a little oil station. Actually, I'm on my laptop, so I'm just gonna show you. Excuse the mess. These little oils that sit at my front door here. So for kids, they have um, Stronger. So this is the Kids Protective Blend, which is a little bit different from the On Guard blend. There is actually an On Guard roller, which I've just put a roller top on the top of that one. And we also have Easy Air. So we put that on their chest before they go off to daycare and stuff. And I have a neat bottle of Easy Air so we can put that on clothing because through the winter they're walking out the door in a hoodie or whatever. Um, and then I have Intune, which is actually, you can see it's a bit more diluted. It's not a touch roller Intune. So this is a diluted version of Intune. And I'll tell you why that is sitting there a little bit um, through the presentation. But using oils on children every day for that immune support and respiratory support is um, changed my life. 
changed our life. Our children um, don't pick up stuff from school like they used to. We all know that daycare has lots of things and people say, oh, it's just a normal part of being a child is picking up all the stuff. And yes, it's important to boost their immune system, but it doesn't mean that they need to be coming home with every cough, cold, sniffle, nits, <laughs> all the things, right? Um, so... Frankincense, I mentioned that as a touch roller, one of my faves. Using an unscented lotion, if you don't want to be using a fraction of coconut oil or jojoba oil, you know that doTERRA have this one, which is just a beautiful, unscented, got nothing in it, awesome lotion, because sometimes it's more appropriate than using an oil. Um, and diffusing. So diffusing is the number one safest way to change what's going on in the environment, purify the air, help emotional support. Um, so my kids have had oils diffusing through the night time. Not every night, but pretty much most nights on a really regular basis. And that is the safest way to be around newborn babies as well. Um, feel free to interrupt me at any stage, guys, if there's comments going up in the chat that I'm, I'm not seeing and not covering to with this sort of stuff. Um, so here's just a couple of oils that we've thrown in. So wild orange and digest zen um, are actually amazing for gas. So a lot of the things that help baby settle is winding things. So one drop of digest zen and on guard, and you can, like, I just mix it up in my hand with some coconut oil, but... Um, what I should recommend that you do is use our correct dilution ratios, which again, I've got coming up in the slides as well. Cardamom, I mentioned that already. So that's for baby and for mum. Frankie, for all the things. Roman chamomile. Um, so Siberian fir, Roman chamomile, copaiba are actually my favorite for teething. So teething blends is incredibly effective. Um, I have a couple of stories about when I've been traveling with baby and teething and screaming like nobody's business in the airport. And everyone's looking at me like, oh, that poor mom. Not really. They're all looking at me like, dear God, I hope I'm not sitting next to that mother on the plane. <laughs> He's like losing it in the Bjorn and I've got like my bags and the screaming baby and I like find the Frankie, touch roller, pop it around his jaw, bit on the back of his neck and literally like still just bouncing like they always just need all the cuddles, right? He just calmed right so much so that I had, and it was a packed airport. This is pre-COVID times, obviously. Um, and somebody came up to me and she said, what did you just put on your baby? That was magic. So Frankie, don't ever doubt how amazing Frankie is. Um, but yeah, my teething blend, I actually add in some copaiba, copaiba, because we all know how awesome that is to settling nervy pain and calming. Um, and if... Um, they're a little bit older or you're more confident, um, then you can actually use that neat straight on their gums. So way better than any of your Bongellas. There's been a lot of kids that have had, um, that have actually died from using Bongella, interestingly enough, because of the choking risk, because they use it on a spoon and they put a big glob and it gets stuck um, for them. So always, always use those things on your fingers so that there's not, um, that's why their labeling is all changed and what have you. But Leo hasn't had anything other than just doTERRA stuff right through his entire life now. Um, and balance. So balance is great, again, for calming babies, but you can also use it for any skin irritations as well. It's got great earthy oils in it as well. Tamer. So there's another, um, if you've got that roller, um, which comes from the US, we don't have Tamer in the kids collection yet. It is coming, um, but you can be using what I mentioned before, wild orange and digestion for gas. Um, mood, wild orange, balance. Um, basil is great for ear infections. So that tends to be a lot of stuff that goes on with toddlers, ear infections. So with ears, we go around the outside here and you can do a little figure eight with your lobe. Um, never ever put essential oils in your eyes, ears, any other hole, okay? So um, I know people, actually, no, I'm not gonna say that. <clears throat> a few things that you can do for like thrush and stuff, but we don't go inside, okay? Um, calming. The Karma blend as well. So there's another option there. So when kitties are a little bit older, and I've actually used the PB Assist, um, you can use that for two, from two years old as well, um, is a powder. I should have grabbed mine so I could have showed it to you, but it just comes in a stick and it's a powder. It's a probiotic. Um, those of you who have done the nutrition and supplements, we did talk a little bit into the kids' range. So there's a picture of it there for you. So they're the A to Z chewable vitamins and the IQ Mega. So that is all your 
omegas, right? Really important for brain health. And little kids who are growing, and I've seen this and along with DDR Prime, so for a lot of kids with ADHD who you can notice such a change or any sensory stuff when they're on the spectrum, um, that way you notice a big difference once you start lubricating their wee brains and what's going on in there. So um, the difference with my son when he's on this and when he's not on this, mm, big difference. So, um, and the chewable vitamins, and they taste like, like a watermelon. I think they taste like chalk, but my kids love, love them. They think they're great. So... <laughs> win there um, and the on guard beadlets so that is one quarter of a drop of essential oils i don't have any beadlets on my desk i think my hubby's taken them um, but they're great to be able to use and like i know plenty of people that have given them to like my babies had them um, and harry loved them when he was like two years old he'd be popping them regularly when he needed to and he needed his immune support boosted so that was kind of specific um, with him and the kids collection okay so these are pre-diluted easy and convenient um, they're in a package in Australia you can't buy them individually yet you can see this is from the US so um, can you I don't know if you can see my mouth but this one here is tamer so the oils that we have in Australia and I grabbed my box oh, I'm missing one stronger I had stronger over there so you've already seen that one um, they are Karma, so this is a restful blend. So people kind of talk about it like the Stronger is kind of like On Guard, Karma is kind of like Lavender Peace. It's completely different ingredients, guys. So that's actually got Litsy, Rose, Cedarwood, so quite different from your On Guard, which is um, Clove, Wild Orange, Rosemary, okay, different ingredients. You're hearing me? So I use the Stronger a lot. I think it smells heaps better than On Guard and I, I personally use it for me. Sorry, that light's really bothering me. I don't know why it's doing that on my screen. Um, steady, so talked about like balance, but this is our grounding blend. And again, completely different um, ingredients. It's amaranth, magnolia. Um, there's some beautiful ones. So it has a different smell, but it is still kind of earthy. There's definitely a, a, um, the balsam bark. So that's the really woody part in there and coriander. So, um, which is interesting because I'm allergic to coriander and I can use that and I love it. Um, Thinker, oh sorry, Brave. Brave is our courage blend. So um, there's some beautiful videos on this stuff for kids too. Um, courage, right? How much do our little kids need courage? They're being um, scared about starting school, going to school, not wanting to leave mum, being bullied in class. So much courage that our little ones need. Yes, sorry, question? Yes, a question. Just come in, Jess. At what age do you recommend the kids range? Oh, uh, yeah, since, since whenever. If you need it, then go for it. Like the babies, I'm going to talk about dilution for newborns. So with newborns, like under six months, you want to probably dilute them a little bit more, but they're safe to use. They're safe to use if you feel like you want to dilute them more um, go for it but I would probably so I think from a company perspective everything is safe after the age of two but it depends on weight as well like one of my boys weighed more than what my nearly two-year-old does at like six months so they're metabolized a little bit differently so my answer to that question is go with your mother's intuition what is the alternative? So are you going to be putting them on antibiotics on a little baby gut or are you going to be supporting them with natural plants and have a think about which is the lesser of two evils if you're going to look at it that way um, and make the call yourself. I can't. Um, so does that, does that answer the question? Can someone give me a thumbs up? on that one a little bit yeah it's, i think that would answer the question at, yeah at what age my way of answering not answering if you're picking up what i'm putting down thank you i do <laughs> rescuer so this is a soothing blend um this actually went on my baby today we're in the wars at the moment i shared last week about him splitting his chin open um and today he fell down a set of stairs at the zoo so he's got um uh, branding on his forehead from the like um, safety slip on the edge of the concrete steps. He's got like this mark across his head. Um, so this is amazing for pain for little e. So it's kind of again like the adult version of ice blue. Um, it's not strong like that. It does have spearmint, I'm pretty sure. Capiba, lavender, spearmint, um, and another one that I can't pronounce. 
a fruity oil in there. So this is the thing with a lot of these blends is you can't make them up yourself. They're not just a combination of other oils that we have um, available in singles, which is interesting for a lot of people. So this is a soothing blend. It's also really effective at bringing down temperatures because of the mint that is in there. Um, peppermint, if you don't have this, use peppermint oil to reduce temperature in the body. So you wanna be putting um, that on the soles of their feet. So with some fractionated coconut oil, putting it on the soles of their feet and then a little bit into their head, a little baby head. Um, so like um, in New Zealand, when you know that it's cold and you put on a hat and you put on some socks, that's how you reduce temperatures. So think about head and feet when doing the reverse um, and use peppermint for that. The last one is a focus oil. So this is Thinker um, and this is like a beautiful kitty version of the Intune, but we use Intune on kids all the time anyway. It just doesn't need to be diluted, but this one doesn't. This one you can whack on straight away. When we were homeschooling, um, Brave, Steady, and um, <laughs> Thinker got a serious workout in my house to support all the things. And my kids actually take rollers to school and use them as they need to as well. Um, they're beautiful on the bottles. It actually has little pictures of brain or heart or a body because it's the specific area that they're addressing. So the kids love them. They're really super kid friendly. So Stronger, we just talked about. It's also great for skin. Um, the other hack that I have with Stronger, I'm just trying to remember the name of um, like the little mini warts that kids often get. What are they called? M meniscus. Um, I can't remember. Anyway, if you know what I'm talking about, try Stronger on them because it's really effective. Um, Litzy and Rose and Cedarwood in there, great for skin. Um, and that's also, of course, for boosting immunity. Uh, wild orange and vetiver. So vetiver is really calming. We use that and it smells like kava, I reckon. Like it's a, um, if you've been to Fiji and it's that rooted powder that everybody like gets calm on, that's what vetiver smells like. Um, and the co-impact sourcing around that oil, we get it from Haiti. Go and look at co-impact sourcing vetiver and see some of the stories around that particular oil. Rescuer, I just talked about, oh yeah, and for cramps, so growing pains. Growing pains is a big deal with kids. Like I've had kids that have um, woken up in the middle of the night crying and we've rolled oils on them um, and their long bones are hurting. Mummy, um, I said my son once, I was like, yes, that's exactly what's going on. Um, so that's really helpful. And as always, when you've got essential oils in your home, you can just grab them, whack them on, and they're safer, cheaper, and more effective than anything else that you're gonna be able to throw on them. Tamer is for um, tummies, all the tummy things. We actually have a roller diluted of Digestin in our bathroom, super effective in toilet training. And I'm gonna keep clicking because otherwise I'll talk about the kid stuff all night. So here's some suggestions for your daily essential oil routine. So for mum or for teacher, using balance and wild orange or just balance on its own on the bottom of your feet, diffusing um, on guard during the day. So just to just, you know, not have all those germs. I don't actually personally recommend having on guard in public areas. It does have rosemary in it. And there is this teeny tiny little bit of research um, that it could cause seizures if, um, a child is an epileptic. So some of the younger ages, they wouldn't know that they had epilepsy yet. Um, and saying that, we have a lot of people who are epileptic and use On Guard on a regular basis, but as a precaution, that's why I don't recommend that particular oil in public spaces because you just don't know who's around. So if you're diffusing, and that goes for daycare centers and GPs and um, places that are diffusing our beautiful oils a lot, of course, I recommend using things other than the On Guard blend. Um, frankincense, of course, having that in the afternoon and some peppermint to pick yourself up and to keep you calm. Um, and then it's recommending a bath and Epsom salts with adaptive. Yay! Such a good idea for all of us. Um, and for the kids, diffusing wild orange and peppermint is a great way of focus and energy. So I use um, wild orange and lavender potentially or wild orange and peppermint as my two kind of go-to morning and afternoon um, blends for the kids. 
Um, and during the day using Thinker, we just talked about that to support little learning brains. Um, and then diffusing in the evenings, Lavender and Easier, both in the top 10, those blends are insane just to be diffusing overnight. If you've got nothing else for your kids other than Lavender, Easier and Frankincense, then that's winning right there. That's gonna make a huge difference to them. So adolescents, so a little bit of skincare here. So obviously hormonal changes. Um, we do a whole session on hormones, so I recommend that you watch that. And there is quite a bit about um, adolescent stuff in there. I've had a number of phone calls um, because I do wellness consulting as well. I've had a number of phone calls from people who have got kids between the age of 11 and 16 I think was the call I think she was that I took today who are finding this season insanely hectic like I'm talking increase in self and self-harming eating disorders not able to go to school so anxious they're re removing from friends that's a little bit more than just what's going on with their hormones in this season so that's a bit more specific and absolutely we have solutions to be able to support um, the bigger stuff going on there as well Long life vitality, again, we talk about this as a weight thing. So yes, a great idea for kids who are particularly nutrient deficient. Um, when you get to this age, you aren't necessarily eating all the vegetables. Um, and even then, like we need like 11 vegetables and five fruits on a daily basis. Now, I don't know too many people who get that in their normal diet, the, the five plus two or whatever, the, the five and three or whatever the government came up with was just an idea to get people to eat something. That's not what our bodies thrive on. Um, so long life vitality is going to fill in all those gaps and it will support skin, will support mood and of course growing. So, um, and we can do that by weight. Sing out if you need more help with that. Claricam, so please don't use um, Claricam unless the girls are menstruating already. Um, that's what we've been told to recommend. So it's pretty specific from hormones and then all the way through menopause. So again, essential oils are concentrated plants, steam distilled or cold pressed. They're plants, people, and they are insanely powerful, really effective. Um, and they're pulling your body back to hemostasis. So they're going to be pulling you from this end of things, unstable, this end of things, unstable, back to balance hemostasis. That's why we have um, so much that we can do with hormones. And we've seen some inc incredible results with fertility stuff and with adolescents around this age, being able to stabilize mood. And then, of course, with menopause um, and diffusing. You will find that teenagers actually love diffusing essential oils. They're really drawn to it. I remember as a teenager wanting my smelly candles and things happening, toxic fumes. No, let's give them plants. Let's let them breathe it in. You can do it for them. You don't have to be shoving anything down their throat. You can change the atmosphere of what is going on in your home. So tea tree is one that you can use um, neat on your, well, in the touch roller, I should say. Um, on your skin for acne. Lemon is another one, but don't go out in the sun after that. Adaptive is for adapting to all the things. And there's so many changes through this age, particularly. So adaptive has got all the GABA in it. That's what we talk about from our mental health range. Get into that. You guys know that it comes in the neat oil in the pitcher and the 10 mil roller. Um, and then also in the soft gels too. Serenity, also known as lavender peace for sleep and for calm, making sure that they have a good sleep routine. Clary Calm, we talked about for hormones and Intune, which is our focus blend. So um, I have a lawyer who actually gets Intune from me for focus and for calm. And she is like the most beautiful calm person that I know. And she, she uses it to help her brain function too. Um, fresh breath is another one to add in there um, and supporting those moving bodies um, for uh, occasional muscular discomfort look at me being all compliant so for us adults long life vitality you guessed it foundational support that fills all the nutritional gaps makes a big difference in increasing energy mental clarity and decreasing global inflammation there's so much that we can do for adults. Um, feel free to pop in the chat what your favorite one is. I could just run through my day and tell you how many oils I've had on me personally for just today. <laughs> I did take my kids to the zoo, so I was rolling on the adaptive. 
um, and then we had an injury, so we've used stuff on them, and I needed to be calmed down because it was actually quite a stressful situation. Um, and Kapiba I take for my nerve damage regularly. I always drink a citrus in the morning, so a lemon or wild orange or tangerine or any of the mandarins in your water of the morning, we recommend having trying to have a litre of water before nine o'clock in the morning, boosting your immune system, cleansing there. Um, and then you guys know about Dr. Hill's ratio that we talked about as their um, as his protocol too. So again, there's some mood support in the morning, having that cleansing citrus, having your long life vitality. Now bergamot, or bergamot um, is actually the first oil that I bought outside of the top 10, fun fact, for anxiety. So this is a great one for anxious feelings and it's good for self-confidence too. And pair that with adaptive. So that's probably my favorite combo there is bergamot and adaptive. For sleep and for calming, again, we're looking at lavender peace, serenity there, and that comes in a capsule, serenity caps as well. You can um, amp that up with some frankincense and or copaiba. If you don't like lavender at all, then for sleep and for calm, I recommend cedarwood, wild orange, um, and copaiba, or you can put in another citrus to make it a little bit more, or a floral like magnolia or neroli, um, beautiful calming ones as well. So around um, your monthly cycle, then Clary Calm, of course, and Immortal, also known as Soyubel, that is our Botox in a bottle. So that stuff, now fun fact, and I've got some on my desk because um, I got given some, oh, well I don't, it's gone, but here's the empty box, here's the empty package. Um, <laughs> that blend is probably my all-time favorite blend from doTERRA. It has um, Hawaiian sandalwood, frankincense, rose, all those skin oils. So that's why it's known as our anti-aging Botox oil. Um, I had crazy line here from all my frowning, like you see how badly I frown, that I completely got to move with this. And it also reduces dark spots, wrinkles, all the things. You can roll it neat um, around your eyes, not in your eyes, further back down here. My skin actually feels great because I just threw some Yarrow Palm on when I got out of the shower. That serum is insane um, but this is the neat oil so for all skin things there and because of the products that are in it then the side benefit is all the emotional effects so no side effects with essential oils a bunch of side benefits um, and for support here we are talking again about um, for blokes there's so much for blokes and all of this is for them so I don't really like this slide because it's all for them as well but um, for phlegm sleep snoring you notice that one right in the middle there marjoram or you can do rosemary on their big toe as well i can't tell you how many people have come to me wanting um the snoring oil when just diffusing easier is the best place to start with snoring any, any questions around that feel free to pop them in the chat um i get asked all sorts of things about using them you can use essential oils and cpap machines um there is a lot of plastic in the line there so I do find that you can get a good support from being able to use them topically because remember even if you can't smell them you're getting them into your system so that's going to be helpful for you but I have a number of clients who choose to on their own um, advice put essential oils to be able to breathe them through CPAP as well. Um, Capiba, so it's going to be boosting immunity, working on your endocannabinoid system, it's great for skin, all the woods are good for skin. Um, woods and florals, skin. Digest in, wild orange again, some repeats here, um, and of course the deep blue in the rub and in the touch oil. So aromatic, what are some of your favorites that you like diffusing? Pop that in the chat, what do you love? So one of my favorite blends is Citrus Bliss with Spearmint um, for a good emotional mood uplift and also some energy. You throw the mint in there, you're gonna be getting the energy. Um, so when you're diffusing things, you're actually creating an environment that's uplifting and you're not having any of the toxic stuff in the air. So Citrus Bliss is a great go-to there. Topical, so motivate and adaptive. So using these oils daily for reducing stress and increasing energy. So Motivate is great for that. It's um, an encouraging blend. I actually gave some Motivate to my GP last week just to encourage her because, oh, GP land is hectic. Doctors just need all the love that you can give them, as do nurses. Um, but really, 
it's such a gift to be able to hand out essential oils to people and I'm they're so grateful it's so effective and you can keep them on you everywhere adaptive so internal so when we're taking essential oils internally of course we love all of our citrus and all of our mints to be taking internally now the go-to there guys is um if you can eat it like a lime or a grapefruit you can take it internally that's a great cheat because people often say to me i don't know what's safe to take internally okay so just think about um would i put thyme or rosemary on my roast Yep, I would do that. So that's probably a herb that I can ingest. Um, what you do want to be aware of is that they're crazy potent. So you might want to take a toothpick and just use a little bit of that um, in your baking or your cooking. And when you're drinking essential oils, please only use stainless steel, ceramic or glass. We don't ever drink essential oils from plastic because it will pull all the petrochemicals out of the plastic and you will be drinking that rubbish down. So please don't do that. Um, and you can use up to 24 drops internally for daily optimal health straight from doTERRA. You can, um, there's a, there's quite a bit of scope. That's, that's the, um, that's a, um, conservative number which is what we should be recommending as a company so the glory years using fractionated coconut oil when your skin starts getting a lot more dehydrated using a citrus oil to um i had a patient the other day who was telling me about the smell of her urine and we got talking about citrus and what that does and being able to <laughs> ingest that but it is so many people in this end of life are uh, chronically dehydrated so hydrating your skin using essential oils topically um, and a fraction of coconut oil and then of course the long life vitality because it's making a big difference with your joints it's giving you more energy long life yep being vitality all through life there um, there's also some other things like the bone nutrient complex. We got into this last week um, with hormones. So maintaining bone health and density, and it has 100% of the recommended amounts of calcium, magnesium. It also has D2 and 3 in that. So bones, particularly in women, tend to um, start shriveling away um, later in life, and it's really important to support them. So here's a dilution guide. Um, now for my crew who are on here, I do give these out when you get started. So you, this is similar. Generally, you want to go like a one to 10 ratio for baby. And for adults, you can go up to one to one. And we've popped dogs in here because dogs are um, a little bit more than what you could do with a baby because babies are teeny tiny and most dogs are a little bit bigger than that. So you want to dilute to kilos with um, with animals and I recommend using a fraction of coconut oil and you can test it on pets too so it's the funnest thing to do take a bottle of something and put it up to the dog and they will like let you know whether they like that or not um, we've had some epic results with frankincense and shrinking tumors in dogs particularly staffies tend to get a lot of tumors and a lot of internal bleeding I'm getting distracted into the animals oils for every age just focus any questions around this? So adults is where you have the peak. Baby, you want to dilute. Elderly, you want to dilute a bit more. So same, same with what we would do with medications. Feel free. So I think someone asked if there are any oils that dogs should, shouldn't use. Yeah. I'm just looking at the chats. Yeah. Are yep. there oils that should not be used with dogs? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple. I don't have a dog, so I don't actually remember them off the top of my head. I want to say rosemary um, or tea tree. One of those isn't wonderful. Essential oil vet, if you are on Facebook or you can just Google. Um, she's a vet who started using doTERRA oils and went through everything. She does um, a lot of training around all of this. I highly recommend her. She's also got free resources online. So jump in there. Just be cautious when you're Googling essential oils for dogs. It's very different, like with everything, when you're talking about doTERRA essential oils versus other companies of essential oils because they've got a bunch of synthetic fillers and additives and they're not the same pure potency of what we have. Like we use, like the essential oil vet will talk about using 
essential oils for um, horses and cows and like chickens, my chickens get oregano. Um, there's whole chicken farms down in Tasmania that are using oregano instead of pumping their chickens full of antibiotics, which makes me happy. Less hormones in chickens. We eat meat. So um, that's an important one. So there's loads of stuff around animals, Lauren, and I can't remember off the top of my head the ones for dogs. Somebody else might be able to fill in. There's a, there's a couple of things that you want to avoid. Um, Symphony of the Cells, you guys, this is... Um, really paramount once you've got a basic understanding and I'm going to be as forward as to say I believe that everybody who completes these eight weeks should do our symphony of the cells training as well so this is um, like a technique like a Roma touch technique but it's actually really applicable you can do it in under five minutes you can do it on yourself you can do it on everybody in your home and there is a bunch of protocols so um, there is a book that you can get with specific protocols, um, lymphatic, hormone, digestive, chi, um, cardiovascular. There's a number of specific um, protocols that you can do with essential oils. And they're between, between four and six different oils for each protocol. And I think you start with three drops and can move up. So it's actually quite a lot of essential oil. And it's all applied onto your back and some of them onto your feet so you can see that little graph there but i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna go there michelina knight does a monthly basic introduction to symphony of the cells it's boyd truman it costs about fifteen hundred dollars to do his training which is like a day so if you can jump in and do that hour and a half or two hour session with michelina then that will open your eyes to the a lot more of the why and this is what i recommend for people who can't shift the big stuff that's going on in their life so as always, every week we have an example of a loyalty rewards order. This one is a bit fuzzy and it's also US stuff, but it gives you an idea of the sample wellness box of what you could throw in. We've talked about um, the Terrazyme. DDR Prime comes from the US. So I left this slide in because Tamer and DDR Prime and the neat oil we don't have here. We do have it in the soft gel. So if you're into that, grab that in the soft gel. Um, and of course, when you order before the 15th, you'll get the free oil of the month. This month, you're going to get the two uh, more free oil. Oh, and that didn't load very well. Sorry. In Australia, um, our sample LRP box that we've put in here is, of course, the Long Life Vitality. So that... Um, Oh, look, I've got the discounted rate on there too. So it's $114. This is a slide from last month when it was 10% off. And it's 60 PV. So the kids collection is $140 Australian, which is crazy good value. And it's really nearly 100 PV. So for those of you who are wanting to order 100 PV to get your 30% back, and also that's the magic number for earning commissions underneath you. So if you've shared with any friends or if your friends have shared with friends and they're positioned under you, you want to be placing that 100 PV order. Then the kids collection is great value and then just throw a lip balm or a toothpaste in your cart and that'll get you to that 100 PV. Um, I'm sure there'll be more questions about the kids collection at the end. 200 PV promo month! So exciting. And this is such a great one. Um, Capiva soft gels and the neat Capiva, Capiva um, and the yellow mandarin. So I said I'd mention a little bit more about the mandarins um, at the end. So um, the red mandarin is the normal mandarin when the fruit is completely ripe. Yellow is when it's in that in-between ripeness stage. And the green is when it's not ripe at all. So seems simple, right? Green mandarin is one of my favorites to have like on Greek yogurt with granola. Sorry, I was just thinking my baby wasn't coming out of the room. Um, you can... Hey. Oh, sorry. Um, um, it isn't light sensitive. It's the only citrus oil that isn't light sensitive because it's picked before it's gone to full ripeness. The, um, the farms actually like cull their trees. So they knock off half of their fruit to make sure that the fruit that does go to full ripeness has all of the right. So it's the same fruit with different chemical properties. So it's a completely different essential oil, even though it has the same name. That's the short version. Tonight's code word is kids. Apologies that I didn't have it flying in from the side like Tony's fancy slides. Um, and 
again, at the end, we always talk about use oils, we share oils, and we teach others. That's what we do. So for those of you who are interested in the Refer a Friend um, program, then you let us know and you say, oh, my friend needs some oils. Can you hook them up? And we absolutely do that for you. Or you can start sharing with your own friends earn some extra income, get your products totally paid for, or you can do what we choose to do um, and supplement or work to completely replacing and massively replacing your income. So these are the pathways. So you choose your path, choose your own adventure. How much, how many hours do you want to put in each week? And what is your goal in terms of money? So we did a session on Monday night, a little bit more about the business opportunity. We're going to be doing those sessions monthly. And we also have a next steps path launching in October. For those of you who are interested in paying for your product, supplementing your income or replacing your income. Um, success is scheduled. And this is what we do. We do an introduction to oils class every week. We do basic business training every week. We do wellness consults. Um, this is the continued education class. So for all of you who are on this call, you don't need to duplicate this. Actually, there's a lot of stuff in here you don't need to duplicate. You can just add into what we're already doing. We do a Monday night team call. Um, you can do strategy sessions with um, people who have been in the business a bit longer. And then your job is contacting and following up your people. So that's how the doTERRA business works. If you wanted more specific information on that, um, then let me know. And if you are keen, then this is another thing, daily mentor calls from Elise Shedeby, um, who you will get that straight into your text message box. Now, let me see if I can end and stop. And now you've just got me and it'll say Tony. Um, and I'm going to end the recording there and go to the chat and see if there's any questions. So I'm going to stop recording.